Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all fire signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there's also a separate spread just for your sign. Uh, Timestamps should be in the description box down below. We have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Six of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups. And uh, we also have uh, the Fool on the bottom of the deck. Uh, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, yeah, you got this King of Pentacles right there. You see how it's clarified by the Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups? You're trying to uh, convince this person that to collaborate with you is a good idea. You have a, it's going to be a challenge for you, so it must be important for you that this person collaborate with you or does something with you, build something with you. Right? It could be an investor. If you're starting your own business or if you run your own business, perhaps you're trying to get this person on board to invest into your company or to work with you, if to do business with you, if this is another business person. If this is a, a love interest, then you really like them, but uh, for some reason this person is not really, um, this person doesn't trust you or they do, it's, they're still hurting from a previous failed relationship or marriage. But you on the other hand, you really want to get the show on the road with them, right? Uh, you must have a reason. Anyway. Right, we have uh, the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands, that would be you. Um, the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups. So this person is kind of like, um, I don't think it's a good idea. That's what they're going to be saying, right? The Nine of Wands, this is a card of a wounded warrior. This is them uh, not really trusting you or the situation. Um, the Five of Cups, um, clarifying that is a card that always has to do with the past. This is a card of uh, regretting the past. This is a card of thinking about the past, grieving the past. So again, this person, some negative experience is still hovering over this person. You, on the other hand, are ready to go. The Queen of Wands is clarified by the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of victory. It's a card of success. This is what you want. The Three of Pentacles, the first card I came out, is a card of collaboration. It could be um, you really wanting this person on board, you really want to work with them, you really want to build something with them, it could be anything, business, it could be some play, something work related, or it could be love related, <laughs> right? Um, with the Ace of Swords on the Three of Pentacles, this is you trying to prove this person that, it, that they should uh, put time, effort, whatever is necessary into it. The Ace of Swords, this is you being very straightforward and very honest. This is a conversation. The Ace of Swords is also a card of a brand new beginning, right? Then the, the Fool on the bottom of the deck is a card of taking a risk. So perhaps whatever you want this person to do with you is risky and that's why they don't trust it. Um, hopefully you can uh, you can still talk them into it. Hopefully you can prove them. Hopefully you can show them because the nine of ones is not really a rejection card. This is their initial response. Like I said, they're going to be um I don't know if this is a good idea, but uh, you will just keep uh, keep trying, and hopefully you will succeed. All right, cool. Here he is. Uh, we have the Magician, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Cups. We have the Hermit, clarified by the Queen of Wands and the Moon. And we also have the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Well, you got an offer coming in. Somebody really, really wants you. <laughs> um, and uh, they're getting ready to express that to you. Um, but uh, you need to think about it. Right? Uh, you have either suspicions or you are not 100% certain what they want or uh, what... You, you have questions for this person. You need some time to think about it. Right? So we've got the, um, the Magician clarified by the Ace of Swords. This is somebody who is manifesting into their life and at the same time they're taking action towards you. The Magician is a card of manifestation and at the same time it's also a card of taking action. The Magician knows he or she's got all the tools they need at their disposal. And uh, this person is going to try different ways to get you interested, to get you on board. Um, it's clarified by the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a very straightforward, very direct conversation. It's a card of a new beginning, right? This person wants 
you. <laughs> it doesn't have to be about love. It could be about work, business, and finances, right? Then we have uh, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Cups. So here they come, right, with the Page of Pentacles. Um, it's a page... Yes, it's a page, uh, but uh, to me personally, the Page of Pentacles is the most serious page out of all four pages. I don't mean to insult <laughs> the other three pages, but the Page of Pentacles, it could be literally money, or it could be them testing the waters with you, um, perhaps they're not showing you the whole potential right now, but they're serious about you, right? Perhaps somebody wants to wants you to work for them, right? And it's a startup. And you're like, ah, it's a startup. You know, I don't know if the startup is going to succeed. Uh, but there is a great potential there. If this is about love, then the Page of Pentacles, it could be something tangible, something you can touch. So it could be a gift. It could be tickets to a show or a concert. Or um, they may, like I said, bring a gift with them. The Two of, of Cups, I find the Page of Pentacles, if this is about work, business, and finances, then the Two of Cups is a card of partnership. This is my card of a handshake, right? They do want to uh, establish a partnership or an alliance with you, or they want you on board, they want you to sign paperwork, so you start working for them. If this is about love, then this person is your soulmate. You know, the Two of Cups is a card of a unconditional love. It's a soulmate card. Um, the rest of the spread, this is you needing to take a little break to think about it. We have the Hermit, clarified by the Queen of Wands and the Moon. Uh, the Queen of Wands, that would be you. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the Hermit, you could be dealing with a Virgo. The Hermit is the personal Virgo card. But that's you needing to do some soul searching, to think about it, to go through some sort of a thought process. The Moon, clarifying the Queen of Wands with the Hermit is the personal Pisces card. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Or the Moon is uh, how you're feeling, right? The Moon is a card of fear. This is one of the most emotional cards in the deck. This is a card of you thinking that they're not telling you the whole truth. Basically, you're not convinced at this point, right? And with the tail once on the bottom of the deck, again, I think that's you needing to sort things out to, to kind of digest this information. I don't see any cards suggesting this person or this company is up to no good, they're trying to take advantage of you. Um, no, I don't see that, I don't feel that. But if you need to go through this thought process, go ahead. I don't see them really rushing you into this. Even though with the Ace of Swords, they want you on board, they want to be with you, they want to get the show on the road with you, I think you'll have some time to think about it. Alright? Cool. Leo, we have the Sun, clarified by the Tail Ones, we have the Star, we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles, and we also have the Eight of Ones on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with another Leo, or an Aquarius, or an Aries, or pretty much any zodiac sign. Well, um, you've got the Emperor, who is going to either propose to you, or they may offer you a job if this is not work, uh, if this is not love related. But you'll still need to think about it. <laughs> what is it with fire signs uh, this weekend? You guys, well, I guess you're all smart people. You don't jump head first with anything, right? Anyway, the very first card that came out is the sun. The sun is one of your cards, Leo. That's you, right? And I. Um, as I was clarifying the sun, I was asking, so how will Leo think about what's going on? And the two ones came out. So you, you, need to take a, you need to take time to think about it. Or perhaps you already made up your mind and you're looking into the future, right? Because you see how the person standing on the balcony, they've got uh, what appears to be a globe in their hands. And you're like, all right, so what's next for me? Is this something, uh, if I were to embrace this, will this help me conquer the world? <laughs> or is it something that goes along my big plans for my own life? That's what I think you're going to be thinking about, right? We've got the star right next to the sun. The star is the personal Aquarius card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. The star is a card of a wish come true. Something we wished for or hoped for for a very long time. So perhaps um, once this offer is presented to you, we'll talk about that in just a second. Like I said, you'll be thinking about, is this something, is this it? Is this something that I always thought about? Is this something I really wanted? That's what you're thinking about, right? Uh, we've got the eight of ones on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of communication, a lot of communication. Um, this is also a card of travel. 
um, the person you're dealing with could be traveling to see you to talk to you about this. Um, or the Eight of Wands is a card of Cupid's Arrows, which is my favorite interpretation of this card. All right, so let's talk about the person and the offer. The Ace of Pentacles, the next card over is clarified by the Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles. That's it right there. It could be about work, business, and finances, or it could be about love. Right? The Emperor is the person making you the Ace of Pentacles offer. The Emperor, if this is about work, then the Emperor is uh, somebody who is a manager or a boss figure, somebody who is in charge. They could be a business owner, right? Whoever it is, they have an authority to hire other people or to do business with other people. Right? Then the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. It really is. That's uh, one of the uh, names of the Ace of Pentacles, right? If this is a job offer, it is a golden opportunity. If they want to do business with you, it's something long term. Right? The Ten of Pentacles, clarifying the Emperor with the Ace of Pentacles, it's a financial abundance. If you run your own business, perhaps this person wants to buy it off of you. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. If this spread is about love, then this person wants to marry you. Leo, plain and simple, this person wants to marry you. There is no other way to interpret that. The Emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the thing about the Emperor, it often comes through as a future husband or a future significant other figure. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a card of a proposal, and the Ten of Pentacles is a card of marriage. <laughs> you're still gonna, you're still thinking about it, right, Leo? Well, I don't blame you. I got Leo in my chart. I kind of know how this feels. Perhaps they're just going to drop this bomb on you and you're going to be like, um, hold, it. hold your horses, hold your horses. <laughs> right? Because uh, they're dead serious about you, Leo. It's like they're ready to go right now. Well, during this weekend. Right? So, yeah, if you, if you need time to think about it, just you know, let them know, you know what, it's so unexpected. Just let me think about it. All right? Cool. Sagittarius, uh, we have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Cups, we have the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by Justice, we have the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the King of Pentacles, and we also have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and an Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, there could also be a Libra involved. <laughs> Um, you have an interesting weekend coming up for you, Sagittarius. You will have two people asking you out. And uh, you'll have to decide uh, which of the two you want to move forward with, right? Um, the Nine of Pentacles in the middle, clarified by Justice, that's you. The person in the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, the person standing up, that's also you. And it's kind of symbolic that the cards came out the way they did. You see how Justice is holding up the scales, and uh, the person standing up in the Six of Pentacles is also holding up the scales. You could be dealing with a Libra, by the way, but I think that's you weighing all pros and cons. Justice, in this case, this is you with a verdict, with a decision, right? You may go out with both of them. You can go out with one of them on the Friday night, <laughs> with another one on the Saturday night, and then decide uh, what you want to do next, right? Uh, it's up to you. I'm, I'm, it's just an example. However you want to um, deal with it, right? But to the left from the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Don't get really hung up on the uh, Zodiac signs. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but uh, it's water clarified by water, right? So this person is kind of emotional, or lovey-dovey, you know, very romantic, that type of stuff. The person to you, your option B is to the right from the Knight of Pentacles, uh, the Page of Pentacles clarified by the King of Pentacles. That's your option B. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If they're not an Earth sign, this is somebody who is more established, somebody who could be a business person, somebody who could be making money, they could be grounded, you know, somebody who is like really serious. I'm not saying that the, pers the first person is not serious, but this person is like, um, you know, if they say something, they usually do it, right? And there you are with the Nine of Pentacles qualified by Justice. Again, that's you making a decision. All right, so um, I think I already said everything I had to say. I think it's going to be up to you, Sagittarius. Um, so have fun and good luck. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.